Hi folks, we're in Riddlesden today. Um, we're at the Riddlesden United Reformed Church. Um, they've contacted me regarding some issues that they've been having with some people damaging the property, uh, smashing windows, small groups of uh, youth, should I say, which are just uh, haven't got nothing better to do but to be wasting some time on the actual property and doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Anyway, so because there's been some damage to the, to the actual church, they've contacted us and we've, uh, we've come in to actually try to help them rather than look at it as a commercial um, contract, if you like. So we've done the, some of the work at a reduced cost and also try to give something back, if you like, um, to help the church and secure the actual site. Okay folks, so this is the main entrance to the church. There's been some issues here where certain people have actually tried to break in through this door, taking off door handles and things like that, and just cause general damage to the property. What we are going to do here today, we're going to put some cameras up which are looking towards the entrance and also covering the front area here. As you can see, that the area um, outside uh, there's a main road and obviously the area in front of the actual entrance is open access so it's very low walls obviously there's a driveway with small gates but that means that anybody can actually just come straight over the gate and into the actual property itself if we look to the to your, uh, my right hand side we can see there's a small canal running by which attracts also uh, young people if you like amalgamating around the area and gathering so this has been an issue for the church itself now if you just follow me on this side we've got some of our team actually working on uh, the ladders installing the cameras and some lighting as well because it's important for the actual area to be lit well lit and also for the cameras that we're installing today you need some ambience or should i say some lux um, which is the technical term however to you and me or to the common person it would be some lighting so we're putting up some floodlights in order for the cameras that we're installing today to see color in the dark okay so we're on the side of the actual church now now what we've done here is we're going to be putting two cameras up on this side to get cross coverage. As you can see, the cameras that we've put up, these are anti-vandal cameras, um, which have infrared lights built in, but also are colour at night. Um, if we look on, the, on my left here, you can see there's lots of foliage and there also there's a canal running by. But also that means that people can walk straight in on off the actual ground on that side so if you pan down to the left here you can see that there's a small snicket there in order to come through and come onto the ground obviously this is a security issue the client did say that they would like some fencing uh, put in up they might be able to help you with that currently at the moment the way the climate is with the pandemic um, everything is actually going up in price so we're looking at our budgets to see if we can actually help them with this if, if that's something that we can do in the future however in the short term um, we're obviously helping them with the cameras now if we look on this side further down we put our signage up as well which is quite clear for anybody to see that there are points on so we're talking about the cross coverage now we've also put a camera up on the top here looking that way so that covers all the entrances and the fire exits as well. So that's quite important at the end of the day to actually get that cross coverage um, to, get, to get a conviction if anything goes wrong. So if you've just got the cameras on just one side, that just basically means that they're just gonna, they, they'll be able to, whoever that's gonna do any damage or anything silly, they can just do it on the, behind the camera itself. That's why it's important to, to get the cross coverage so it gets well that sh that camera gets this side of the shot and this camera obviously gets what's going on on that side of the shot. okay folks so we're around the back of the church now this area is obviously one of the areas which is obviously quite closed 
um, on a dark night, not the least anyone around this side. Due to that happening in the past, um, the church has actually had uh, people actually try to break in. Now if we look at these two entrances here, these have actually been compromised before. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a camera at a reasonable height, which can't be reached or broken uh, off, uh, which also obviously covers these entrances. So we always say uh, professionally it could be entrances and exits, because obviously you want to get the footage of it actually, if something negative happens, you want to actually capture that footage happening in order to give it to the police, which will then, who will then send it to the CPS. Uh, the Crown Prosecution Service will obviously validate if it's um, reasonable footage to actually get a conviction. So if your camera is only pointing in a large area and catches somebody standing in a certain area, uh, in an open area if you like, and then they come round the back uh, of the property and break in, th that leads you to speculation. Um, you actually need some factual footage. So God forbid pardon the pun that anybody does try to break into this church uh, we've actually got the footage uh, uh, on camera 